Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those new here, my name is Jasmine and I am a first, second and third grade teacher here in Toronto, Canada. So for today's video, I really wanted to kind of pick one topic and focus on it because sometimes with daily vlogs and weekly vlogs, there's so much going on. I feel like it's hard to really like hone in on something and explain it well. So for this video, I really wanted to talk about my five technology must haves. So this is definitely geared towards in-person learning. I would not say that this is really useful for, you know, online learning because everything is mostly like behavior management or just like functionality that works only really in person. So hopefully if you are teaching online right now, these can be useful tips for the future. And if you are in person right now, you can use these right away. So let's get into my top five technology must haves for the classroom. Okay, so technology must have number one is a wireless doorbell. Now I did talk about this in one of my very first vlogs here on YouTube, but in case you missed that, or just, you know, if you would like more clarification, I'm talking about a wireless doorbell remote. And these are very easily found on Amazon. I've seen a bunch of them, but I will link the exact one I have down below in case you're interested. Now what this is, it's basically just a little clicker remote. It does take batteries that come with it, I believe. I will double check that. But if not, um, you can always buy the batteries. And I have had this now for three years and I have not changed the battery yet. So that's saying a lot. It means that it really does last. So don't worry too much about that. But anyways, what it is, it's just a little clicker. And when you press on the clicker or press on the remote, it definitely makes a pretty loud doorbell sound. Now, the cool thing about this one is that you can actually change the different sounds and tunes and you can even change the volume. So I have mine up on the highest volume, which is not crazy high. It's not something that the whole school is going to hear, but your whole classroom definitely will hear it. And I like to put it on the loudest in case, you know, they're doing free time and playing maybe and I need to capture my students attention. I really use this doorbell more for um, a silent management tool. So when I click on the doorbell, which I will show you the sound in a minute, um, the students have about 10 seconds of the sound going on. And once those 10 seconds are up and the sound has stopped, they should have been stopped whatever they're doing and eyes on me. So I always tell them, I don't care where you are in the classroom, even if you're at the farthest corner or if you're somewhere where I can't see you, you would get up and make sure you're looking at me. And that just lets me know that, okay, they're all aware of the doorbell and now I can make my announcement instead of me having to scream on the top of my lungs to get, you know, attention. So this has really been a voice saver, especially with wearing masks this year. It really helps with not having to, you know, call for attention. You just ring the doorbell, give them 10 seconds, and they look at you. It works wonders. So I'm going to show you how it sounds right now. Okay, so it's short and simple. Um, so I'll show you the next part of the attachment. So it's really cool. You can basically attach the plug into any kind of outlet you have in the classroom, and that's where the sound comes from. So this is just the clicker. The sound doesn't come from this but it's somewhere else attached and that's where the sound comes from. Um, okay, so I have seen teachers wear these on their lanyards and they just like kind of clip them on. You could do that. I don't because um, it's a bit bulky and I don't really like that like banging across my chest. And plus I just keep this at my desk because that's normally where I go to call their attention. So you can do what you want, but you can definitely clip this on a lanyard. The hack that I've heard is you put this in one of those like Bath and Body Works type of like hand sanitizer holders and you put it in one of those and it works perfectly. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. Now I'm gonna show you how I plug in the clicker. So this is just like my little sanitizing um, desk area. And right down below, there is an outlet. So as you can see, this is the doorbell um, and it plugs right in. I like to put it somewhere where it's not so visible so students aren't tempted to touch it. So since it is in this outlet behind this desk here, nobody really knows about it and no one really touches it. So the sound comes from here. On the side, you can adjust the volume and that's how that one works. All right, so um, technology must have number two. Maybe it's not a must have for all of you who don't use your phone as much as I do, but I like to document things going on in the classroom. I take photos, I take videos, I use my phone for parent communication, all that stuff. So naturally, your phone can run out of battery. I also use it to play music and whatnot. So having a phone charger, but not just any phone charger, a wireless stand charger is a game changer. I just love the fact that, that it's somewhere I can put my phone and I know it's always there and I'm not going to lose it. So basically, 
So basically here is my wireless charger. I wish I could put a phone on top, but you know, I'm recording with my phone. But this is from the brand Anchor. You can get this on Amazon and I'll link the exact one below. But basically what it is, let's pretend that my post-it note pad is my phone. You just basically put your phone on top of the stand and it starts to wirelessly charge. And the amazing thing about that is that, let's say you're moving around classrooms and I don't know, you're just like busy and you don't have pockets. It's kind of a place where you know your phone will be there and you don't have to like fish around your desk or your bag to see where did you misplace your phone. So this kind of eliminates that hassle of losing your phone. And it's so nice and sleek and it definitely charges fast. So this is a must have, a quick and simple one. You can just plug it right in to your outlet and there you go. So this one will be linked below, but I definitely find it really useful this year. All right, so the next uh, technology must have number three is a selfie stick or a tripod. So right now I am recording on my favorite tripod that I have, but this is another example. There are so many uses for this and I can't even uh, like literally explain how many times when I didn't have this, I wished I had it. And now I gravitate towards it a lot. So first off, the obvious one, a selfie stick. You can use it to take pictures with your class. Sometimes it's nice to be able to be in the photo yourself and just snapping a shot like that. It's also really nice to put it on the floor or somewhere and then just document like a picture of the class naturally. Let's say sometimes they're working on their journals and maybe you don't wanna get into their face and snap pictures and have it be unnatural. You can just place it somewhere and just take some photos like that. Also, uh, for my class, we record French songs every single week. So we practice them all week, Monday to Friday. And then on Friday, I record the video to send to families and they love watching the French songs that we practice. And so having a tripod really helps to stabilize the video instead of having my shaky hands, which I have a big problem with that. So the tripod really helps to stabilize videos and makes it easier to hold as well. So this one here is just like one of those, it's also from the brand Anchor, by the way, which is where I got the wireless charger for my phone. But um, this is the one that where you would put it into here, but my new phone doesn't have a headphone jack, so I don't really use this part. I just clip it here, it extends, and all that. The one that you're on right now is also a really great one. They're both from Amazon, so I'll link both options below. But having a tripod or a selfie stick or any of that kind of thing really helps with technology. If you're also a teacher YouTuber, this can be a really great way for you to document things you're doing around the classroom. So it's a cheap, inexpensive tool, but I think it definitely can have a lot of usages. So I definitely recommend investing in one of those. Okay, technology must have number four is a document camera. Now, I don't recommend you purchasing one of these on your own because they are very expensive, but most schools do have these, and if they don't, just inquire. Try to ask your principal or vice principal or whoever is in charge to place an order for a document camera. There are so many ways to use it, especially this year with COVID protocols. So I'm gonna explain right now how I use a document camera. All right, so here is the document camera. It's a pretty nice one. I'll check the brand since I haven't purchased it. Aver Media or AVR Media. So this one's great. And what I use it for is mostly read alouds or writing prompts. So I know that my teaching partner also uses this a lot. Now, take a look at how it projects so nicely onto a, a smart board or a projector, like a pullout style, like the one we have. Um, this year, we can't get very close to each other. So having a projector type vibe and being able to show read alouds this way is such a unique way because you don't have to have students come close to you and you can also project it for everyone to see even when we are so distanced and all spread apart. So that's a great way to do read alouds. You can also do writing prompts. So for example, maybe you're gonna be writing something and you want students to copy it. It's kind of like the old school projectors that we used to do back in the day, but it's a lot more user friendly. Um, so yeah, look at how just the color is so nice and crisp. This is the book Red, and it shows up so nicely, and you can literally read the story just like that. So I'm sure there are so many other ways to use a document camera. I've seen do, people do like art, um, draw with me type, type lessons. So you can literally show exactly what you're doing to the students. Like if you're doing a painting art activity, you can do it with them and it'll show on the projector while they're doing it themselves. And that's something I'm actually going to try and do one day. So I really think that, you know, Using a document camera allows you to have a lot of user-friendly and interactive lessons that maybe you couldn't really do this year with COVID and you're not really able to get close together. So definitely a great solution for that. All right, so my very last tip and my last technology tool that is a must-have definitely for in-person, I wouldn't really use this online, is a fox whistle. Now that sounds so much more intimidating than what it actually is. It's basically just a whistle. Um, 
This is the Fox 40 brand and that's from Amazon. I'll put it down below. And basically this is so useful for being on duty. When you're outside, you know how crazy things get. There are students, especially with snow in Canada, students are going on hills that they're not supposed to be going on. They're sliding down ice mountains and getting hurt and all kinds of stuff. So having a whistle is so handy instead of having to use your voice once again, especially when wearing a mask. Um, this is also useful if you're doing like drills. If you teach PE or any kind of activity or even drama and you're going outside and doing something, it's really nice to have this as a tool. Um, I even used this once when we had free time. We went outside and we were doing fun races and we would use the whistle as like a three, two, one, go. And so it's really fun. Um, I definitely recommend having one of these. It's also much more sanitary than using the mouth whistles, which can touch lots of germs and then you're putting it back in your mouth. So I like how this is just a button that you just click. Um, I will say this is not as loud as I had hoped it was. I know there are really loud ones. So even though I will link this one below, I do encourage you to do a little bit more research to check if you can get one that's a bit louder because this is really nice and loud in the classroom. But once you're outside, it's not the loudest. It still works, but it could be a little bit louder in my opinion. So the cool thing is too though, there's a little click on this one and you have a flashlight. So I think that's useful. I don't really know what I would use this for, to be honest. I haven't used the flashlight. Um, oh my gosh, as I'm talking about this, I just got an idea. While I'm doing uh, Google slide lessons, I don't have a pointer, like a, like a little like, what is it called? Like a slideshow pointer. I don't have one of those. And I was actually thinking, wow, I would really like one so I can like kind of show what part I'm talking about. I can maybe use this. Maybe I can just like use the flashlight to point out words that I'm talking about on the projector. So there's multiple uses for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that and try that out. But even if you don't have the flashlight function, just the sound is really great. I'm gonna do it, but I hope I don't alarm anyone in the building. It's pretty loud. So uh, yeah, this is great and I definitely recommend it. And I like how it comes with a little lanyard. So it's easy to put around you. Definitely, if we were still doing field trips and it wasn't you know, during a pandemic, this would be great for a field trip as well. All right, so there you have it. That is all my technology must-haves for in-person learning this year. Let me know if you have any technology must-haves that I missed, and I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I will be back next week. For those who listened to my last vlog, I am getting a puppy this weekend, so I might be a little bit MIA for you know a week or two, so bear with me, but definitely check, at, check in with me on my Instagram, at First Grade Frenchies, and please subscribe if you like this content. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.